this video is going to teach you how to make a Google Forms header in Canva. So first we are going to go to Canva. Now I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you already have an account or that you plan to get an account. Um, so I'm not going to go through the process of showing that part. I'm already logged in. I have the educator upgrade, which is for life. So I would definitely recommend doing that. So when you're going to make a header, the nice thing about Canva is that they already have kind of pre-made things for you that are the right sizes if you search correctly. So what you'll notice is that there are some down here. You can look at, um, I just, these were my recommended one because it knows what I was just doing. But you can see all the different things school related things, infographics, presentations, um, custom dimensions, you could even search for that. And remember the Google Forms header is 1600 by 400 pixels. So you could search it through that. But you don't have to remember any of that. Because what you could do is just go up here. And you could just put in header for Google Forms, Google Classroom, I usually say Google Classroom. So Google Classroom header, they are the same size which is nice. So when I say that, it will give me some options. So I could start totally blank and then you could add in different elements and different um, fonts and different, you know, your Bitmoji and everything. But I like to start, you know, with one of their pre-made ones and then kind of customize it. So I'm going to try to find something that I like here. What do I like? I've used all these for different things, by the way. So <laughs> let's say we pick this art class one. So I'm going to click on it. So it already is the right size. If I wanted to, and I was just, you know, being super lazy, I could just say, well, this is math class. I'll make that a little bit bigger because math is a little longer than the word art. And then I could just change like my name on it. And I, in fact, I could use this for, you know, every Google Forms header just to customize all of them. And they would all say my name on top and they would all, oh, I wouldn't even go by Miss. If you do go by that, that's totally fine. I prefer Ms. Okay. So from here, I can just download this. I can just press download and then it will save to my desktop or wherever you have your things saved on your um, school computer. And then you can just go into Google Forms and change the header. Or you can use Canva for all its glory. And there's so many things you can do to it. Um, there's all kinds of different things. I can change the text. And there's so many fun elements I could put into it. Like maybe I didn't like any of this. You know, I might not want like any of this text in here. I might not want even any of those, you know, kind of paint splashes. I might just really like this background. So let's say that I wanted to make like a welcome, um, get to know you form. And so let's do a text and let's say, um, I don't know, use this one. And we could say, tell me, and then down here, we could say about yourself. Oops, let's make sure we spell that correctly. And I can just kind of stretch it out. And if that's not fitting in a way I want, I can always just change the size. Like that. Okay. And again, if you can put Bitmojis in here, if you really love Bitmojis, totally up to you. Um, one way that I like to do that is to go to my Bitmoji uh, extension. And again, I'm not going to go over how to get the extension and set up the account. So I'm sorry, you can go to the Bitmoji classroom um, PD that we're offering on Thursday. So I'm going to pick my Bitmoji and maybe I want one that's just like waving. So I'm not even going to type anything in here. I'm just going to go to the wavy one. And well, I don't want like a mean looking one. Oh, maybe this one. Um, okay, so I'm going to save the image as because it's a lot easier to get it into um, Canva this way. So I'm going to save it as and I'm just going to call it um, reading. I know what it, the name of it. Okay, so from here, I can just upload it and I can click on it and just drag it. That's, I find the easiest way to do that. I'm sure people have a million other ways that they can do that. So 
it will just upload into here. And you can see some of my other uploads that I've had, some random things in here. So to put it in my actual header, I can just click on it. And there I am. And I can move myself around. I don't know where I want to put myself. Let's put my me over here. Let's move this over a little bit. And I can make myself a little bit bigger. Okay. So let's say that this is going to be my Google Form header. And I can go to download. And then I'm going to press download here. And it will download, um, I think my default was PNG. And I'm going to press download. And it's going to go all the way down there. And again, you want to custom name it. It's going to name it whatever the default was if you didn't change it. So we'll say save. And just like you did before with slides, if you went through that video, you can open up your form or if you already had it ready to go. Just open up a new one. And I'm going to go to customize theme, choose my image, press upload. I can either browse and choose it. Let's just do that. I want to open. And then it's already the perfect size. So I can just press done. And just like before, it will show you. It will pop up in the actual header space. And it will change the colors for you. So I'm going to make this like a blue. And that's how you can customize your header in Canva.